this business, the Cafe Landwer, was just is just one of many restaurants along here, but this one was chosen. Tell us about that. That's right. I mean, you know, our community is home to so many great restaurants, cafes, and so much more. Yet the protesters went by a bunch of them, stopped and singled out Cafe Landwer for no other reason than the fact that it's owned by Jews. And called for their boycott and then skipped a whole bunch of other ones afterwards. They were singled out for being Jewish owned. It's not right, it's not just. It's an indefensible act of anti-Semitism and hatred. There's people who are just enjoying a meal at a great cafe who were harassed. When we say never again, it's not about history, it's about now. And we have to condemn anti-Semitism whenever that scourge rears its ugly head each and every time. Because if we don't, then we risk history repeating itself. Political, the situation, but you didn't hesitate. I want to know why. Unfortunately, I know what it's like to be targeted because I'm different. And so for me, I couldn't stand by and not say anything. And what is really, frankly, disappointing and hurtful for me is in Toronto, we have 25 members of parliament, 25 MPPs, and 25 city councillors, not counting the mayor. And of the 76 elected officials in this city, I can probably count on my hands how many people have spoken out. It's, it's sad and it's scary that we have to stand alone um, with the Jewish community, that there aren't more people speaking out.